So if you watched uh, the vlog last week, we went to uh, my sister's house and she found a bunch of stuff in her storage shed. She found some toys. And so I brought some the toys home so that I can clean them up. Um, I brought home these strawberry shortcake tins, which I'm not going to be able to keep this big one, I don't think, because it's dented and it's in really bad shape anyway. Like the, the top of it's really, really rusted. But there's some on the inside that look better. Um, I was hoping that there would be a date on there, but I don't see one. I'm going to get filthy touch on this stuff. So let's. I don't think I shut them really good. So there's. It sounds like there's more than just these stems in there. Oh, there's a button. A little button. I'm kind of afraid to open this stuff. It, she's, it, this stuff has been in the sheds where snakes live and spiders. And so you never know what's going to be in here. Okay, um, there is a button in here. Oh, we call them buttons. It's like a, you put it on your shirt. It says, I was there. I don't know what I was there, what they were talking about. And then there's a bunch of um, random uh, hair barrettes. So these are old time hair barrettes. Uh, we used to have those when I was a kid. Um, my grandmother Scott used to clip her hair with these clips. I'll have to try to show you some of these up close. Um, but there's some really old hair barrettes in here. So, so, but this still does not have a date. It says MCMLXXX. I, I don't know what that means. But those are actually, the two in the bottom are actually in really good shape. It's just the one on the outside that's really rusted on the outside. But I'll clean, I'll take those and I'll, I'll clean those. Um, and then, okay, so this bag is not one of the bags that we saw last week. So this is going to be new stuff. One of these other bags has stuff that we saw, that we actually saw last week. So this, I've never seen a set like this. That's cute. And then we have this, which must, must go with something else in here. We have this. It's a little tykes. And so it looks like a, a train goes around on it. A car, but it, there's nothing on the inside of it. This is like a, this is like a soft car. Oh, you push it down? Oh, it's one of those that you push down and it takes off across the room. Okay. Um, this is like a little dustpan. It's funny that there's that room I told you there was it had snakes in it. This is a fake snake. A fake snake. And you can you can make it move whichever way you want. Uh, let's see. This looks like an uh, a hat. This is a hat for something. Bob the Builder. And he, he's, uh, he's really thick, like he would talk. Um, like it feels like there's a box in there that would make him talk or something. Let's see. Then we have this person that's not, doesn't have her clothes on. She looks like she would be Bob the Builder's assistant. Well, 
We need to get her clothes back on her. Amelia is obsessed with taking uh, the doll's clothes off. She, no one is allowed to be dressed. She, that's the first thing she wants to do is take their clothes off. And I try to explain to her, uh, don't you think they're more comfortable with their clothes on? And don't you like to wear your clothes? And you like to have your clothes on? And uh, Because I like to keep their clothes on. It's just more little pieces and parts when you take their clothes off. Uh, but she's she's at that age where she wants to she wants to do that. So and it's difficult to take their clothes off. So I take them off. Okay, here we go. Now let's see if she has a name. It just says Bob the Builder. Wendy, Wendy Talking Plush. So she did talk at one point, and her name is Wendy. I've never, never watched that show. Okay, then we have this. This is one of those musical toys. Still makes noise. And this is like a toy vacuum Ashley's pulling into the driveway she might come over and say hi I don't know I, I'll have to have some scissors to cut this out of here because it's um, I think it's tied too tight for me okay Let's see. Then we have this. This is like preschool stuff. It hangs. And this is pretty new. This is that Lamaze brand. That Lamaze brand is, is pretty new stuff. So, um, I'm actually surprised to see that in there. And then you have this. And I bet this is what this, ha this handle goes to. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. So this, yeah, this goes on here. I think so. If I can, there we go. So it's like a lawnmower. And you, it has gears. It did make music at one time, so it probably needs a new battery. Yeah, it has a place for a battery. So we just need to put a new battery in it and that'll be good to go. There's some kind of bug, like a, a bee figure, a pon-pon, which we don't need that. This is like, it's like a whole cleaning set for kids. And then here's some goggles. I mask for kids. Craftsman. They actually say craftsman. This goes to something. This looks like Chick-fil-A. Central Kentucky Blood Center. That's where that cow's from. But it's so stained that... And then there's some miscellaneous things in here. A water gun, a brush. And like I said, this, but it's so, it's uh, tied so tight I can't get it. I'll have to, um, I'll have to cut that out. Okay, that's one bag. Okay, I cleaned the table off, so I'm just gonna dump this bag. And hopefully there's not spiders in here.
like there's some pictures in here. So definitely some pictures. And there's some uh, these graduation cards, Balfour, Balfour that you get when you're going to graduate and you put them in your um, diplomas. It says Angela, I'll give the first and last name, Angela Jackson, that's the name on these. So I guess that's who Jennifer bought the house from maybe and they uh, did not want this stuff. You know, lots of times mom and dad will say, come get it out of the garage. Come get your stuff out of the garage if you want it. Uh, because it's going to be gone and we're selling the house. And, you know, we're just going to leave it. And if they don't come get it, then, you know, there it is. So, let's see which Beanie Babies we have here. This must have been her, her Beanie Baby collection. So, this one is the piece. Bear, I think is what this one was called. Um, no, Millennium. This is the Millennium Beanie Baby. Um, this one is Valentina. Um, there's like some paper on them. Let's see. Okay. This one is called Halo 2, and I think I had that one at one time. This is the uh, 2000 Bear. This one I know I had. Um, I think I have the Christmas ornament of this. Um, it's called The Beginning, because I do have some Christmas ornaments. They're, they're tiny ones that you hang up on the tree. This one is called Ariel. Some of them are a little bit like dirty, but not bad at all. Some of them have like paper stuck to them. Like this one, there's nothing wrong with it, but there's like paper stuck all over. This one's called Fuzz, which is a good name. Uh, this one is, has paper on it. It's like toilet paper or something. Uh, this is not a Beanie Baby. This is a uh, Doobie. It says Doobie, but it's not. It's not a Beanie Baby. This is a Beanie Baby. This is Echo. I have a video uh, when I first started doing vlogs. It was probably like in, I don't know, 2013 or something on YouTube where I showed all the Beanie Babies that we had. And Andrew, um, Andrew had his own collection too, but I think he got rid of his too. Um, this one is called Wallace. There's nothing wrong with any of them. There's just kind of, uh, uh, dirty where they have paper on them for some reason. It's just odd that they have paper all over them like they did. Because I would think that that paper would s still be in here somewhere, the whole a bigger piece, and it's not. This one's called USA, which it's a red, white, and blue bear. And then we have it looks like the Democrat and Republican. Um, uh, this one is called maybe Righty. I don't know. It's it's torn. And then this one's called Lefty, and they're from 2000. This is July, and it, that's the name of the bear. It's just called July. So if you're, if they had one of these for each birth month, and I'm sure a lot of people collected all 12 months. And then this one, I know I had. It's called. 1999 Holiday Teddy. And I think I said it way back then when we had, when I 
showed the Beanie Babies. We were collecting them. I was enjoying it. I was having a good time. Um, you know, I was spending like six dollars a piece, and I would I would have continued uh, to be buying them. But then the uh, Ty said that they weren't going to make them anymore. They decided that they they weren't going to make the Beanie Babies anymore, and they came out with the bear called the End. And it was a big deal for me to find the end bear, which this is it. This is the end, and it says the end on it. And uh, this it was supposed to be a big deal because they weren't going to make any more. And then they started making them again. It's like, well, I'll be darned. And so I thought, I'm not falling for this anymore. I fell for the end. I fell for, you know, thinking that you all weren't going to make them anymore. And then you continue to make them. They lost me as a customer. This is, I think I showed this one, 2001 Signature Bear. This is a August Bear. So if your birth month was in August, my mom's birthday was in August. And then we have a soccer bear, and it's called Kicks, which is a cute name for a soccer bear. And my sister, they have rented a big um, a dumpster in the UK. I know they call it a skip. And they've rented a big one to clear out uh, the barns that I've showed you out of her house. And her husband's already made like... Mm, Gosh, I'm sure I made it awful fast because the car just got wrecked because he was going way too fast and it was actually a moving truck. Idiots. Um, anyway, her husband took a bunch of metal and we, you can sell metal at this place we have in town. He made $90 this morning just from sell, selling random metal that was in their barn and I know they'll get tons more. Um, but uh, it's costing them, I think they said, $350 every time they rent one of those dumpsters and then um, have to have the company come out and pick it up and they'll deliver them another one. Uh, but yeah, it's expensive. This one's called Clubby 2. Love you too. And one more. I'm sure you all have been bored to death. Oh, and this is a September bear. So maybe these people had three kids or something like that. So all of these are in good shape. I'll take them in the house. I think uh, uh, Amelia uh, will enjoy. I don't know if Gavin will enjoy looking at them, but I think Amelia will definitely enjoy uh, looking at them. So I'm going to sit here and look at these pictures and see if there's anybody in them that I know. So these are the random um, hair barrettes I found. Um, in those pictures, I didn't recognize anybody in those pictures, but they were definitely from the 80s. They were very 80s looking pictures. And so these are just random, random hair barrettes that were in there. This is what I was saying my grandmother Scott used to use. This, um, one of these clips. We got some uh, packages from our P.O. box today, and I also got this letter, which I opened up in the car because I recognize the name on the front. The name on the front is from W. Johnson in Delaware. So if you watched the, I think it was a midweek vlog, um, I did some box openings, and one of them was from Delaware, and um, I received a beautiful uh, Starbucks mug from Delaware, and some food from Little, uh, and we do not have a Little uh, grocery store around us. It says, hi, Timmy and Kevin. I hope this letter and the box I sent arrive at the same time. They didn't. It's okay. Um, I taped the box and realized I didn't put the note in. Uh, I wanted to contribute to your channel in some way. I enjoy your channel and look forward to all your videos. And so uh, then she lists the items in the box, which if you if you watch that box opening, you'll have seen. But anyway, these are from Wanda. Um, and we've actually, we've only done, uh, reviewed one of the items already from in the box. Uh, they were the Tasty Cake Pies because they were 
date sensitive. So we needed, that's something that was very, very fresh. So even though you won't see that video for maybe a, uh, a week uh, or a couple days, I don't know. It depends on when I put this vlog out. Um, we've are, just know that we've already reviewed those tasty cake pies. Uh, so I referred to Wanda as W. Johnson, uh, but that is Wanda. And I didn't give the price of the tasty cake pies, uh, which she paid a dollar each from Wawa. Uh, so, and we don't have a Wawa around here either. I've so, thank Wawa. you very, very much to Wanda. I appreciate that. And you wouldn't believe how many people have done that anyway. They'll, they'll seal up a box, and then I've gotten boxes before where they've actually taken the letter and just taped it to the box. Mm -hmm. And then I can slit the envelope open and get the letter out of it. But they've gone ahead and taped it to the box. So, a lot of people for, do that. I'm sure I've done it before as well. Um, this one says fragile. Oh, it's from Dr. Oh, I, this is from Dr. J. Yes, yes. You all haven't heard from Dr. J in the UK for a while. He contacted me and he wanted to know if I wanted to try. Yeah, these are actually in pretty good shape. Yes, they are. That one's a little melty, but. He wanted to know if I wanted to try the new uh, Cadbury Dairy Milk. Uh, these are You Vote to Keep Me chocolate bars. Yeah. And I said, absolutely, please. <laughs> and so he sent me the Crunchy Honeycomb, the Cocoa Nutty. And Out of the Blue Blueberry. So thank you very much. It's actually Out of the Blue Blueberry. When, when we got these things from the P.O. Box, they had rubber bands around them, so I didn't look to see. I saw that letter on top, but I didn't see uh, who else had sent things. And so I'm actually surprised these have gotten there so quickly. Uh, but yes, they look like they're in great shape. Mm -hmm. Well, like I said, one of them felt like this a one just might a hair be, on the side. But yeah, no. but it's fine, yes. So thank you, Dr. J. This... Oh, they've taken a picture of their store. I saw that. Ah. Hi, Tammy and Kevin. I remember you mentioned these in one of your reviews, and uh -huh. they brought back... Yeah. And they brought back memories. They are not nearly as giant as I remember, but I can still see my brother and myself getting these at the concession stand after his t-ball games when we were growing up. They, yeah, they don't feel, they don't, they're not quite <laughs> as big as I remember, but then no. again, I was a lot smaller. So. No, but I do think they were like this big. Yeah, so a little bit bigger than these, but not much. Um, That's cool. They were his favorite, but I preferred Starburst. I found the Giant Chewy Sweet Tarts at Five Below. I have included a picture of the storefront and the shelf label. You will also find the receipt in the envelope. I also want to thank you for listing your top 10 cartoons. I love Beetlejuice and my brother and I still use a line from one of the shows as a running joke. As children, whenever one of us would not be quite truthful with our parents, the other would chant like the skeletons in the episode, lies, lies, lies from Beetlejuice. Lydia lied to her parents. I, we had that I don't one too. That. Oh yes, lies. See, I didn't watch the Beetlejuice cartoon that was a little after my Andrew time. would totally recognize that too. Uh, I would like to say uh, we have grown up, but we still do this even in our 40s. Yeah, I yeah, couldn't resist cool. and had to order the DVD from Amazon. Oh, the cartoon? Yeah. Yes. Wishing you all the best. Stay safe. Um, best uh, tree from uh, Charlotte, North Carolina. And then... Yes. She sent me a picture from her five below, which is on the end. Yeah, it's on the end. I wonder what that, that looks like an Old Navy or something right next yeah, door. Yeah, is that an Old Navy next door um, in Charlotte? Because that's what it looks like it might be. And then there's the tag. That is so awesome. Thank you so much. So I will definitely keep this and show it. And I absolutely remember, and they had an episode too, um, and I don't remember what cartoons are on what cassette tapes, but the, she, Lydia had to babysit and be, See, that's the only one I remember. Her babysitting is huge. Beetlejuice, uh, I thought you would sit on the babies. And Lydia's like, you don't actually sit on the babies, Beetlejuice. You know, it was just a But really the baby was like a giant. It was a massive baby. Yeah. Um, that's the only one I remember is the baby. Those the baby were thing. so good. So thank you very much. Yeah, we will 
absolutely show those because we haven't had those in years. Now one more. And then this one is from Elaine in, did it say oh. Iowa? In Iowa, okay. This is in a, a floppy bag. Make sure I don't cut anything. And thank you for sending four of these. How much did they cost? Oh, they were five for five. Not no, not at all. It's nice that uh, Five Below has retro candy. They have one of these, those, um, it's like a big circular display and they mm -hmm. have candy all around it. And for, for us, doing all these reviews it's like okay how in the world do i keep track of what i've reviewed off of here and what i haven't so we, we haven't taken the plunge and look gone candy by candy search from the channel uh to see what we reviewed and what we haven't <laughs> oh look just a little thank you from a very grateful heart, thank you for all the wonderful videos you do. I saw this and thought of you. I don't know if someone already sent one to you. If so, please pass it on. You and yours keep safe and stay no, healthy. No, we've never seen that. Cheers, Elaine. It's a color. Oh a my color. word. Oh my goodness, that is wonderful. I just ran and lay out my pages. Oh, it's... it's Oh, it's wonderful. That's that looks like Q. That does look like that Q. That is Q. Look at the staircase. Oh, yeah, and they have the big lily pads. Oh, that is so neat. Oh, yeah. Q That's Gardens cool. was beautiful. That is amazing. The oh, number 10. Did you see the corgis? Yes. Um, it's all right. You can go oh, it's so neat. Oh, look. Oh, I love this. This is amazing. That would take you a while to cut. Ah, uh, yes, it would. Because there are so many parts to guard. The Shakespeare Globe. Mm -hmm. That's uh, the other ones. What's that? That's a that's a helmet looking place. It looks like a helmet. It always has looked like a helmet to me. I love this. This is amazing. And no, I have never seen this before. Mm hmm. This is so awesome. Oh, Sherlock, Sherlock Holmes. No, oh, that looks like me. Which one? No. Oh, that does kind of look like you. You or Lionel Richie. <laughs> it could have been either one. So here's the card. That's cute. And then here is the book. Thank you so much. That is a, truly, that is an awesome. And they have, um, they have four different ones listed on the back. They have one called Splendid Cities, and it's Color Your Way to Calm. They have one called Secret Tokyo, Secret Paris, and Secret New York. I bet the New York one would be cool, too. And then this, like I said, is Secret London. So, uh, thank cool. you all very, very much. I love this. Well, hopefully you caught the vlog in the middle of the week because if you watch that one, then you will have seen that Ashley uh, moved and uh, so there had been some questions about that and so I thought I would answer them. Ashley, it's probably been, I don't know, I'm guessing like four years ago, she moved out. She moved into an apartment. Uh, she was working a full-time job. She had not gone to college and well she had gone she had gotten her associate's degree so she had gotten her associates but she hadn't gone any further than that and she was working a full-time job and she was not happy at the apartment she wasn't happy with the job and so she decided that it would be best for her to move back home and to go uh, back to school to do something that she wanted to do. And she, that's when she was like, I wanna be a teacher. That's what I've always wanted to do. Uh, she did, she was a receptionist um, at the time that she moved out and she's like, this isn't what I wanna do for the rest of my life. Um, I don't like office work, I'm, it's boring. And I feel like I'm, I'm stuck in a job that I don't like. So she did the mature thing. I think it was the mature thing. And she moved back home and she uh, re-enrolled in college. She ended up getting her uh, bachelor's degree and then her master's degree. And she still is going to school right now, uh, taking uh, other courses. 
and to further her education even more and that way she'll also earn more money but so now she's moved back out again because she now has a, a job that she loves she's making great money it's uh she's teaching she's going to be in a new classroom this year uh, in a new school and she's very very happy so this is a completely different situation than it was last time also she is still in town last time she was out of town so this time she's in town she has friends that live in the area it's a completely different situation than it did, was last time. Last time, it, it's like it, kind of like when you uh, go to train a, uh, a potty train a kid. You know, sometimes when you try to potty train your uh, your 18 month old, they're not ready. They're not ready to be potty trained at all. And you're like, you know what? We'll come revisit this again. And then you revisit it later at 24 months, and it's like wow, this worked like a charm the first time. That's because they were ready that second time. I think that's the same way that it is with her. And so she uh, she was ready to be out on her own, and she's just ready uh, that it, for what life has to offer to her. And uh, so I will show you a tour of everything. Like I said at the end of that video, she doesn't mind if I do that at all. It's just that I know that she would rather have her couch and everything in place. I know I would want that too. Um, but um, people uh, people asked us if Chapel was staying. Chapel is staying. Chapel is here. Chapel did not move. Uh, well, that's one of the things that she said last time she moved to the other apartment is he was not happy. She said, you know, it's a completely different environment. And she said, I'm not home all the time, whereas you all are home a lot. And um, he has his patterns here, you know. He, he has his schedule here. And he's been sleeping in our bed for probably the last two years anyway. So... Does he miss Ashley being here? Probably not. I don't think when Guido died, I don't think it bothered him. And when Ashley moved out, I don't think it bothered him. Not really. Because he is, everything with his schedule, he's used to doing it with us. And she was always gone anyway. So, I don't think that affected him. Did I want a cat? Not necessarily. Um, he's, I couldn't ask for a better cat though. He's has a wonderful personality. He's very, very loving. I know he loves me. I know he cares about me. I know he cares about Kevin. And so I'm glad if I have to have a cat that it's him. But um, yeah, it's not something that I was looking looking for, but it's okay. He's He already lived here anyway, so it's not like we brought a new animal in. Um, but I've also had the question, so what are you going to do with all that space upstairs? And there was one, there, well, there's two rooms up there that I didn't even show you in that video. So one, one room that I didn't show you in that video is the attic, which I showed you that a couple weeks ago during the vlog, that I was switching everything around in the attic. The attic is not, it doesn't have, um, uh, heating and cooling in it. It is literally an attic space. It is for storage. So there's a whole room up there with just holiday decor. Um, there is another room up there that I did not show you last week, and that is the room right off Ashley's room. There's a, a door in there, and that is an unfinished room. So what we plan to do, there's no bathroom upstairs. What we plan to do is we are going to look into seeing how much it would cost to finish the room, which is basically over our kitchen. It's never been a finished room, but we have a floor in there now. Uh, we're basically going to see how much is it going to cost for us to put a bathroom up there, a full bath, and a uh, finish that room. And then the bathroom down here, there's, uh, there's a big bathroom. Uh, that's the one with the clawfoot tub. We're thinking about just making that a half bath because we don't need three full bathrooms in this house. It, it's too much. Um, so we're thinking about making the one off the hall. It would be like a guest bathroom and it would be just a half bath. So we would have two and a half baths. Uh, but we have not called anyone as of yet. Uh, we need to call a company 
and uh, you know you want to get somebody who knows what they're doing and who's dealt with an older house and uh, because we're gonna have to have an electrician in here there's gonna have to be plumbing work done uh, but that is what we plan to do upstairs so right now um, our bedroom is currently downstairs we plan on moving once there's a bathroom upstairs we plan on moving our bedroom upstairs and where our bedroom is at now will be an office it will be one big office for for uh, kevin and i to use and so that will be really really nice and kevin kevin's wanted a place for years to where he can do his gaming and he can like film himself uh, playing his games or he can film himself um, uh, putting his metal earth models together right now he doesn't have a, a dedicated like space to do that and so every time he wants to do something like that he has to set it up and it's uh, it can be done but most of the time it does not get done just because he doesn't feel like going to all that trouble so it'll be nice to have a dedicated space where it's all, always already set up for him. Um, so that's that's the plans. I don't know when we're going to get started on that. I don't know when we're going to call somebody. We um, and the reason the only reason that we're even able to do that is because we're not going on vacation. So, you know, um, I love to go to the United Kingdom, and we've talked about going back to Disney and stuff like that. Um, I do not plan on going. Uh, back to Disney anytime soon especially you know you have to wear a mask and uh, it's very very hot in Florida and um, and I know a lot of people are like well you do what you have to do and that's great I hope that if you enjoy Disney that much I hope you go I am not missing it enough to where I want to wear a mask in the 90 degree heat I just don't so um, um, you know have fun if you go um it's just not something that i want to do but since we're not spending the money on vacation we can put the money back into the house and it'll actually be really nice to put some money into the house uh because right now the way that it is upstairs it is usable of course because we added heat and air up there but without there being a bathroom up there it's just a pain it's just it's it's a pain to have to okay i get up twice in the middle of the night um to go pee and i have to go down the steps i nobody wants to do that so um we're gonna see how much that'll cost so that uh people had asked me the plan and so that is that um we have been watching uh unsolved mysteries on netflix and kevin and i had never watched unsolved mysteries before so we didn't know we didn't know what it was like at all so unsolved mysteries i'm assuming they've been on since like 1985 they were on from like 1985 to like 2010 and then they went off from 2010 until now and now netflix has new shows well, what i didn't know is that netflix only has six they only uh they only uh, posted six of the episodes so we've already watched them all. I thought that there would have been a lot more. I thought there would have been like 10 or 12 episodes or something like that. I think there will be, but I don't know why they didn't release them all at one time. You know, like when House of Cards comes out, they would just release uh, the whole series at one time. For some reason, they didn't do that with the Unsolved Mysteries. And, and I, I don't have an answer why they did that. I think the other ones are gonna come out later this year. I just don't know why they did that but it's been a very interesting show um uh like i said this is coming from two people who had never watched it ever in our lives but what the show is is um uh, they pretty much follow the the same pattern is that something these are they're all it's reality and something bad has happened and at first you think they're not going to find any body at all and then they find a body but the unsolved mystery is how did this happen to them how did this happen how did they end up where they ended up how did the the whole circumstances how did it happen and they're basically asking you at the end of the video you the viewer 
If you know anything about this, please call. Please call this number. Let us know what you know, what you saw, anything at all that could help us solve the case. There have been over like a thousand of these um, unsolved mystery cases and just from them uh, putting these episodes on TV, all these years that they've been doing it, 260 cases have been solved from from it being uh, on TV and getting tips from people. So you might not think that 260 is a lot, but to a family that, you know, if you're one of those 260 families uh, that you got uh, resolution, um, you know, that makes all the difference in the world is knowing what happened to your loved one because that would be, to me, that would be pure torment to have something happen and to not have any answers. So, um, so there have been six episodes, like I said. I'm not gonna give anything away because I won't do that. I don't like it when people do that and I won't do that. But there was one episode that I didn't like at all. It was like the fifth episode. And I, I, I can tell you it was about an um, aliens. I was not into that at all. I mean, we watched it just to because we'd watched all the other ones. But it, neither one of us were into it. We were just kind of like counting the minutes until it was over. Just truly thinking, okay, is this all there is to this? It's one that is never going to have any resolution. Never, ever, ever. I don't know why they even... I don't know why they made that one, honestly. I believe in aliens. I believe in life on other planets. Totally believe it. But it didn't... For me, it didn't make an, a good Unsolved Mysteries case because there's nothing that people can really give to the conversation that's going to be helpful. Nobody's going to have answers. So you're not going to get any resolution to that. And so to me, it just shouldn't have been part of the show. A, a different show, yes, but not Unsolved Mysteries. They should have had something else. The other five were, uh, were very interesting. Um, and, uh, even though I think the second case, the second episode was very, very bizarre, um, the first one is the one that has stuck with me. The first one really bothered me. Um, it bothered me when I first watched it. It still bothers me now. I think that more could be done about it. I think that, um, all the people that could have been questioned were not questioned, and I absolutely think that there's a lot more work that needs to be done on the first case. So, I hope you all will watch it on Netflix. It, um, it's, it's a grown-up show. It's an adult show just because of the content they're covering. You don't want your children to listen to how people were killed. Um, you just don't want to even put that into their heads. So this is a, a show for, you know, mom and dad for when the kids go to bed at night. Um, but Kevin and I have enjoyed it quite a bit. Just know when you get to that alien one, I think it's like the fifth one. If you're not into it like we weren't, just skip it because it's not going to get any better. The episode, it's, it, it is what it is. And truly, it doesn't get any more exciting <laughs> it's there's just not much to it and that's not to say that i don't like the people in the episode the people seem like very very nice people like i sa said i believe what they're saying i believe the experience that they had is true and that it really happened but there's no resolution that's there's nothing that anybody can offer that's going to help you with that one. So I just don't think it should have been part of the show. So anyway, those are just things that I wanted to tell you. Um, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about Ashley Moven. She is, um, uh, she's doing good. She said that her new mattress, the new mattress, if you watch the, the haul, um, uh, cause she did a, like a new apartment haul. She had ordered it from Amazon. She said that it's very, very comfortable. Um, what else? She said that it's quiet. Uh, she has a, uh, someone that lives, uh, near her that has a dog. And 
she was concerned at one point that the dog might bark all the time or whatever. She does, there's no noise. She doesn't have to worry about that. She's just very, very comfortable. And she's um, uh, been cooking dinner for herself a lot. And she's, you know, going to the store and, and doing her laundry and all that stuff herself. So um, she, uh, she seems to be very, very happy. Well, Joseph in Iowa sent us a box. So, and he told me that he sent us some drinks. And he had asked us to try these drinks before and I've looked and I have never seen these in our area. Um, this is like skinny things. I found um, pictures of them online, of course, but I've just not seen them here. Um, Joseph is really good about requesting that we try different candies and stuff like that. Unfortunately, uh, mm -hmm. it usually takes us six months after uh, to get the candy that he's requested. We just, we haven't seen, uh, if, if you've seen pictures of the new candy bars that are out, new candy that's out, for example, the Tropical Skittles. We've looked, we don't have them around here. We, we have looked for them. There was a, um, I think probably four months ago, there was a cookies and cream, instead of having the white, uh, the white confection. It was made of chocolate. So it was a chocolate cookies and cream. We've never gotten it around here. We've never won. gotten it. I'm looking for the payday. Haven't seen it yet. Um, but I'm looking for the tropical Skittles. There's a couple of other things. There's like tropical ring pops and there's tropical something else too that I'm looking for. I have it written down. I just haven't seen it here. So just know that um, I do continue to look for things. Um, even it might it just might take us longer to get it than it in our area than it took you to get it in your area uh these are called hogwash and i love the name i love the cute little pictures of the little hogs on the front this is the uh, pickleberry punch and this is squealing blue raspberry and so um, I'm sure Joseph saw where we reviewed, uh, we had gone to save a lot and we had reviewed some kids uh, beverages not that long ago and I'm thinking they were actually pretty good from what, mm -hmm. what I remember. Uh, but he said, would you review the hog hogwash? I've never seen these here at all. So Joseph, thank you very, very much uh, for sending these to us. We will review them as, as soon as possible, of course. I do try to always go in order. So when someone sends me things, um, I try to, to do it in that particular order that it was sent to me so that everybody, so that it's fair. Uh, sometimes if something's brand new on the market, I will go ahead and push it out there because it's brand new and people want to see it. But if not, then I try to be fair and go in order. So these reviews will be going, uh, coming up soon, uh, but thank you very much. Well, I'm going to end the vlog here for the week. I don't know how long it is, and I'm sorry if the beginning of it was completely boring. Um, I know I sat at the table forever on the front porch, and I was looking through bags, and that was interesting to me, but I'm sure some of, to some of you it was like watching paint dry, and I'm sorry, but that is what was going on at the time. Um, I, I didn't mention um, years ago... When American Horror Story first started, it started in 2011. I, Kevin and I watched like the first two or three episodes and that was it. And it bothered me, it freaked me out so much that they were in a big old house and we were moving in this house that I could not watch it. So all these years, I have not watched the first American Horror Story. Um, so I told Kevin, I said, let's start watching it. So we have watched, how many episodes do you think we've watched of that American Horror Story? He's not listening to me. Um, we've probably watched maybe eight episodes now. And it's amazing that years and just being older and more mature can just make you look at things completely different and this show it's really evident that's evident um just different ways of looking at things because it is not bothering me at all <laughs> in the least to watch it this time around 
and like it was years ago and I don't know why but it's just not uh, it's been very interesting though and this one the the first season I'm sure everybody has seen it that's gonna watch American Horror Story but it's called Murder House and it's very interesting and it has there's a lot of people in it that I'm used to seeing from other um, uh, seasons and so we're like oh well that's so and so and that's so and so and and so we've seen a lot of familiar faces but it's also been interesting to see them younger <laughs> because you know this is when american horror this was the first year that it was ever out so everybody in there is really young and fresh and um it's just interesting to 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 go back and see people in that way it still shocks me to death that this was on television because the words that they say, the things that they do. There's a maid in there. If you remember the maid, I'm shocked that that was on TV. You know, it was on late at night, but still. Uh, so anyway, I'm just, I'm just surprised. So anyway, that's all that I'm, uh, I had to, to catch up with you all with. Um, I was expecting another box from a company. Uh, a company sent me a message saying, hey, do you want to try these uh, snacks that we have? And I said, sure. And we checked the P.O. box uh, today and it was not there. We're not going to be checking the P.O. box tomorrow at all just because we're going to be busy. And you'll see all that next week. So... I hope you all have a great week. Hopefully it's not too hot where you're at. I know here, um, as far as where we're at in Kentucky, masks are mandatory. So it doesn't matter how hot it is in those stores, um, you have to wear them. And some stores are uh, a lot warmer than others. Sometimes you really, really notice um, that it's not as cool in certain stores and you feel like you just can't wait to leave because you know you have that your breath is hot and and it, then it's hot in the store and it's just miserable and kevin said can you imagine being in florida no and i'm not we're not talking about disney we're talking about just just being in florida in general um it just must be uh really really hard for you all and georgia and alabama and Texas, all these, and I know like Southern California, all these Southern states, it must be horrible. And I'm sure you try to stay home as much as you possibly can. So I don't blame you. I try to, I hold my mask until I get to the door and then I put it on. And then when I get back to the door, I take it back off <laughs> uh, when I'm getting ready to walk back out because I don't wear the mask to the car. Um, I don't see any point in doing that. I'm in the fresh open air and I'm not around anybody. Uh, but I, you know, I do wear it when I'm in the building. So I just, I can't imagine what it's like for some of you all in this heat. Uh, so anyway, I hope you all are staying cool wherever you're at and we'll see you next week.